Hey, you guys, it's your girl, T, and I have a story that's coming from my first favorite state, honey, Wretched Ass, Florida, okay? So this story is super crazy, super nuts, and guess what? It's super damn ratchet, okay? So let me go ahead and break everything down to y'all. So what's going down is that basically we have a 16-year-old girl, and she was at the local fair down there in, you know, Florida. She was down there with her friends, you know, kicking it, having a good old time. She got into an altercation with another girl from her school, and basically she got jumped. So she went back and told her mother. Her mother is 30-year-old Ernest Lada LaFrance. We're not even gonna go there about the name. That's her name, and her mother is 30 years old, and her mother has also decided to become a lesbian, okay? So she's in a lesbian relationship with her girlfriend who's 28 years old. Now, both these women look twice my damn age. I can't believe that they're 28 and 30. So anyways, they decide to go to their daughter's school they find out the girl who had jumped her daughter and they go about, you know, basically putting their hands on her and then they take her phone from her, okay? So now instead of the girl calling the police and letting the police know what happens, the girl decides to get in the car and they decide to drive to that girl's house. So when her mama sees that it was that girl, the mother, Ernest Lada, runs out the house and she starts fighting both the girls. Her girlfriend grabs a gun and starts shooting in the air. Now they've both been arrested. This entire situation is just re damn dickless and super duper damn ratchet, okay? Go ahead and check out the news clip. I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Arrested, accused of getting into a fight at her child's school with another student. And the story doesn't end there. Let's go to Local 10's Todd Tong and live now at Carroll City High School with more. Todd. Calvin, apparently this started as some sort of a dispute between two students, but the problem came when the mother of one of those students took matters into her own hands and came here to this school Monday afternoon and got into a fight with one of the students. Miami-Dade Schools police say 30-year-old Ernst Delata LaFrance of Opelaka assaulted and robbed a Miami Carroll City senior high student Monday afternoon in the parking lot after school let out. Today in Bond Court, LaFrance appeared sleepy and disinterested. Ma'am, you were arrested for burglary with an assault or battery, strong arm robbery with an aggravated battery, and child abuse. In the arrest form, the victim said LaFrance punched her in the face and pulled her hair and then stole her cell phone. Police say LaFrance then posted about the attack on Facebook, warning those messing with her daughter to beware, bragging that two black eyes was not the end and she would use a gun if necessary. Later, the victim went to LaFrance's home to try and get her cell phone back. The girl says LaFrance hit her with a stick, breaking her middle finger, and someone inside fired two gunshots. You, you need to stay away from high school unless you're going to your child you're with your child at a school event police chief issued a statement that said in part this type of behavior and conduct an adult violently battering a minor is unacceptable and will not be tolerated at our schools now LaFrance also received a stay away order she did get seventy five hundred dollars bond for those three felony offenses and she will be ordered to be on house arrest until her trial all right, so you guys just saw that news clip. This entire situation is just crazy. You know, it, you can't make this shit up. First of all, the mom was young as hell when she had her. She obviously had the girl like 13 or 14 years old, okay? For her to be 30 and have a 16-year-old, she had her really young. And it seems like nobody really helped her with her mothering because this is just not proper behavior. Now, granted, as a parent, you don't want anybody putting their hands on your child. You don't want anybody hurting your child. You know what I'm saying? So I definitely understand that as a parent, but this is not the way to handle it. Like I always stress to you guys, you have to have emotional self-control. All of these people in this story just straight ratchet, including the little girls who jumped her and including the girl for being stupid to go back to that person's house as opposed to calling the police. You know what I'm saying? Imagine if somebody would have been killed behind all this. Behind what? They're probably fighting over a little boy at the school any damn way, okay? You know, it just makes no sense. So you have the mother out here, instead of her going to the proper authorities and telling the principal that her daughter got jumped by these girls, she decides to take matters into her own hand and hit the girl and take her cell phone. And then the girl, instead of her using some emotional self-control and common sense and calling the police, she decides to get her friends to drive her to that woman's house and then they get into another fight. Do you realize that you're at her house and you're very lucky that you weren't killed? I mean, this whole situation is crazy. Now these women are looking at felony charges and this 16 year old girl is basically left not to her own devices because her mother's locked up and her mother's girlfriend is locked up. And then what if they come back to retaliate? 
I mean, this whole situation is just insane. I don't understand how you have so many adults out here who are not using common sense and logic. You know what I'm saying? Just because you are a teen mom or a teen parent does not mean that you have to keep that teen mentality. At some point in time, when you decide to be a parent, you eventually have to grow up. And especially when your child is 16 years old, you cannot have the mentality of a 16 year old and be out here jumping and fighting people. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T. So I have to do an update on this whole mess that went down in Florida, okay? So I've gotten some extra tea. When I recorded the initial video, it was a few days ago. I'm just now getting a chance to edit it. Since then, a lot more drama has come about. Um, the woman who's involved in all this mess, she goes by the name Lottie. Um, so from what I'm being told, this is Trick Daddy's sister. And I remember the story last year. If you guys don't know, there was like all this drama <laughs> that was going down in Carroll City. Um, last year with like Section 8, this chick named Lottie, another chick named Sharice Slottimore. Bitch, because I look like this. In person, bitch. Ain't no filter. Ain't no cropping. Ain't none of that going on. Bitch, this is me. All day, every day, bitch. When I wake up, everything, bitch, this is me. Trick. My thing to you is... How the fuck you come off your G code with some whole shit, dog? That's my thing to you. I'm just not understanding. So when I woke up this morning, I shared the post about these hoes want likes and all that. You can't be talking about me because I get likes. And likes ain't what the fuck I'm on here for. I get hella likes. I get hella motherfucking rules. So I thought you was talking to somebody else, but when I glance down your motherfucking, glance down to the comments, I see bitches talking about me. Mom, they, they say, oh, hmm, no, no, talking about you. She's talking about Geisha. That's what I thought. But see, on the pages, they need to correct these bitches who following them. Exactly. They need to let them know. Because if a bitch put something on my page, I correct them bitches when I ain't talking about a female. So guess what? They want them to think they talk about me, so now I'm talking. Tell that, tell that bitch I'm lying to. Tell that bitch don't keep my name out your mouth, bitch, for I stick a pistol in your mouth, puss-ass hoe. You better keep my name out your motherfucking mouth, puss-ass bitch. Did your motherfucking child just come in the house and tell you he not talking about you? You, you mentioning my name, bitch, because what a bitch comment on the post? Don't make me come to your house, bitch. Puss ass on her, make me come to your house, bitch. Do not play with me, ho. You better get on here and recant everything you said about me, I swear before Jesus. Bitch, I will bust your head and your nigga head wide open, puss ass, bitch. Do not step to me about what no other bitch said in no comment on my post, ho. And I can just dress, I can address anything I want to address, puss ass, ho. I will pull your lace wig off and drag your raggedy ass, bitch. So basically, they had jumped trick daddy's baby's mother because she snitched on old girl section eight by telling section eight that she had designer bags and shoes honey when i tell you it was a bunch of ratchet ass miami drama and i remember sipping this tea but i never talked about the story because it was just too ratchet to cover i didn't have time for that foolishness Tell your brother Trick, you need to sign me to his label. Honey, that bitch is trying to get on love and hip hop. They ain't gonna go nowhere but the motherfucking lose. Bless her soul. It's sad, baby, to stone the bitch you wanted to stunt with. I'm definitely ain't getting together with no bitch that's going to section A on me. <laughs> that's playing all type of games with a bitch livelihood and, and hating. These shades about $15, $20. And they're going to screenshot this shit and give it to section A. And these shit's only $20. Y'all supposed to be volunteering for section A. Report bitches shit. Y'all don't get paid to report nothing. Y'all get a bitch to lose a section A, right? Once a bitch get kicked off the A, guess what they got to do? They got to level up. Not the eight. The eight. And then a bitch go fuck around and get a nine on you ho. What you down here for me for? What the fuck you down here for me for? Look at that. 
Damn shame. But you live you down here for me. I'm like, well, what the fuck they calling me down here for? Now I see. So what you here for? Bro, cause, for, cause you here for me. For you for what? I'm gonna be quiet. I'm gonna be quiet. Stop putting on for the internet home and stop it for real. Stop putting on. Hey, that's the governor. ATL. Goddamn, you hear it all on the radio, goddamn it. He right here, man. My nigga say he eat more black pussy than you. <laughs> I eat more black pussy than you hoes. <laughs> What's up, West Palm Beach? I'll be at Cub Rumba, October 7th, first Friday, baby. Don't meet me there, beat me there. At the end of the day, you got your ass whooped, this and that. You gotta take that L. Bitches just keep looking at this and they like, oh, them hoes acting ratchet. Nobody don't motherfucking know what you done did to me. Throwing rocks, how your head. Bitch, you done came over here and bust two of my windows. All that section ain't fucking with me for what? Bitch, you is jealous of me and you envy me to the core. You ain't you trying to dig a hole for me? And bitch, you think I ain't gonna bury you? I'm evil as fuck. That part. Bitch, you out of my hell, ho! Bitch, it's a mommy! Bitch, this is counterfeits! This is counterfeits, ma'am! Bitch, we gotta be the ones to handle up. Bitch, you got kids, I got kids. At the end of the day, bitch, we gotta be the ones to handle up. You feel me? And I don't give a fuck who send this to whatever house and whatever, bitch, I can handle up. But at the end of the day, bitch, at the end of the motherfucking day, the point I'm trying to get to is no drama, no fighting, no bullshit. Supposed to put us in a position where we losing our housing, we losing this, we losing that, we losing our life, we losing none of that, bitch. So for me to see you down there, bitch, did something to me personal, ho. Personal. And, and, and I'm up the motherfucking hill with it. Because, bitch, I don't fuck with you. Everybody want to laugh, everybody want to talk, but boy, I got some shit in me. I got some shit in me. On some real shit. Because I don't fuck with you. And everybody know I don't fuck with you. Period. I don't fuck with you. Bitch, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I ain't talking about you on my page. Bitch, I ain't doing no videos about you. Bitch, you didn't even bust my window and all. Oh. Bitch, I ain't doing nothing to you. So for you to keep coming at me, bitch, it's personal. Throwing rocks, how you your head. Nobody don't motherfucking know what you done did to me. But everybody want to talk. Everybody want to talk. But nobody don't know what the fuck that's really going on. Nobody don't know what the fuck going on. Y'all just want to talk. So this is the woman who's now being arrested for jumping, um who's not being arrested for fighting that girl. So now what happened is that basically she's also one of the mothers who just sits her ass on Facebook 24-7. So she took to Facebook after the fight happened, and this is what she said. Say the Francis later posted a video of the fight on Facebook warning those messing with her daughter to be aware. <laughs>
So, you know, this whole situation is is just ratchet as hell. Um, shout out to Petty Blog for, you know, following up with the situation because I didn't have time for it. But now what has me confused is that now she's interviewing with the news and she's telling the news a whole different story than what she said on Facebook. On Facebook, she's claiming that her daughter was jumped by a 19-year-old. But on the news, she's admitting that the child who supposedly jumped her daughter was 17. So I want you guys to go watch these clips. I'm going to show you guys a news interview that she just recently did two days ago. Check this out. Carroll City High in Miami Gardens to bring us this exclusive tonight. Walter? Well, Craig, that woman says she was just defending her daughter and she wound up on house arrest. Police say she attacked a 17 year old here after school Monday, but she says that's not what happened. And tonight she's telling her side of the story. There's a mother. Our job is to protect our children. And who is going to protect our children if we don't? Ernst Lada LaFrance facing a long list of charges, including battery, burglary, and child abuse, for doing what she says any parent would in the same situation. I'm a mother. And if, it, and if at any reason I authorize a child, I apologize. Because that's not me. That's not my character. LaFrance sitting down with 7 News, staring at an ankle monitor. The 30 year old is accused of attacking a teenager twice for bullying her daughter. But she says there are two sides to this story. Kids are not kids anymore. Kids, it's a lot of people that can say, okay, a 16-year-old killed my child or a 15-year-old killed my child. LaFrance says it all started when the 17-year-old victim's sister attacked her daughter at the youth fair, and that led her to the Carroll City Senior High parking lot in Miami Gardens Monday afternoon. Yes, I was in the school parking lot trying to see what was going on, and they jumped me. According to the arrest report, police say LaFrance violently confronted the victim, punched her face repeatedly while pulling her by the hair, then drove off with the 17-year-old's cell phone. But LaFrance says that's not how it went down. She was just fighting back. I was assaulted. Let's just be clear. And it didn't end there. Police say it escalated when the teen showed up at her Opelaka home to get the phone back. And LaFrance says the 17-year-old brought back up. So her girlfriend, or Lisa Evans, fired a couple shots in the air. Teenage girls attacking me with sticks outside my home. My thing is, if, you're, if you are um, a teenager and you are afraid of me, why would you come to my home? On top of that, LaFrance says her house was robbed not long after. Both adults arrested for the altercation and the judge not holding back in bond court. It's time to act your age, that was your side. Wow, everything could have been avoided. And while LaFrance waits to walk into court next month to clear her name, she says she does regret what happened. But she has this to say to anyone who judges how she responded. At what age do you stop protecting your children? What age? And while the France waits to learn her fate, she says she would like to apologize to anyone she may have hurt. Live in Miami Gardens, Walter Moore, 7. So you guys just watched that news interview. So like I said, the story don't make sense. Is the girl who jumped your daughter 17 or 19 years old? And then she says, at what age do you stop protecting your child? Now, as a mother, and especially as a young mother, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't as young as she was when she had her child. She was about 13, 14 you know, but I have a 16 year old. And as a parent, yes, you do want to protect your children. I'll be the first to say that. Nobody wants to see their child hurt, jumped, you know, maced, none of that shit. And I'm so tired of these badass kids out here jumping other kids. You know, this is nothing new. This happened when we were in school too. And I never understood that. If you're too scared to fight, then your ass shouldn't be fighting. If you gotta get four or five of your friends to jump one person, you're whack, point blank, period. So I definitely agree with that. But the thing is, as an adult, yes, we're here to protect our children but we also have to have common sense because you cannot protect your child when you're doing time in prison point blank period had that went down what she should have done is not only go to the school authorities to let them know that these bitches jumped my daughter and they sprayed her with mace and now my daughter might potentially be blind but she should have also caught the police and if the girl is 17 to 19 years old um she can be charged as an adult because she assaulted a child she assaulted a minor with mace she can definitely be charged as an adult. Like you have to, like I said before, you have to maintain emotional self-control because when you just lash out on emotions, that's when you get yourself into more trouble. And I saw a lot of people trying to make excuses for her behavior like, well, you know, if it was my child, I'd do the same thing. Okay, so now when you end up doing prison time over some foolishness, don't get mad. You know, you have to think things through. Yes, we all want to be emotional. We all want to take it for our children. But again, like I said, you can't be a parent from prison. Point blank. 
You cannot be there for your child if you have to do the next five to 10 years in prison. You know, so the whole situation is just sad, but I don't agree with her daughter getting jumped. I feel like all of those girls need to be charged. Whoever was involved in jumping that little girl, they all need to be charged. They all need to be, you know, sent to juvenile. And if it comes out that the girl who put mace in her face was between the ages of 17 or 19, because like I said, she's telling two different stories. She's telling the media one thing and she's saying nothing on Facebook. So if the girl is 17, I believe at that point, they might be able to charge her as an adult. If the girl is definitely 19, she definitely needs to be charged in, as an adult for assault. And she definitely needs to go to jail because that's not okay. It's not okay to jump nobody and it's definitely not okay to put no mace in their face. You know, so this whole situation is just crazy. You know, when I heard it took place in Carroll City, I already knew the story was going to get more and more ratchet. But again, I can't excuse the mother and the girlfriend because bullets have no names on it. And people think, I don't know what it is about the South, honey, because I lived in the Carolinas for 10 years, but people down South think that if they shoot a gun in the air, for some reason people have in their mind that these bullets, they just stay in the sky. And that's not the truth. Whatever you, you know, whatever goes up has to come down. We have gravity. So when you shoot a gun in the air, those bullets can rain down on innocent people. There have been innocent people killed, not because they were the target of a drive-by, not because they had beef, but simply because somebody shot in the air and that bullet had to come down and it landed on somebody. So I can't excuse the girlfriend's behavior because somebody could have took that bullet who had nothing to do with this entire ratchet ass situation. You know, so the whole situation is unfortunate. I hope her daughter gets her sight back. I hope the little girl ends up being okay. But as a mother, and especially when you're a young mother, you just can't be carrying on like this. And that's the thing that makes it look bad when you're a teen parent. People assume that all teen parents act like this, and that's not the truth. You know what I'm saying? I had my son young. Like I said, my son is the same age as her daughter, but you have to, you know what I'm saying, show your kids a different way. You can't have the same mentality that they have because you're not 16 no more. You know what I mean? You can't be out here fighting and jumping folks and going off on social media and on Facebook. This whole time when she's going off on Facebook, and getting into it, people, she's out here getting jumped. She's losing her Section 8. It's like so much shit has happened to this woman in the past year that at some point in time, you have to ask yourself as an adult, you know what? Maybe I'm the equation. Maybe I need to keep my ass off of social media, keep my ass to myself, and just stay away from the drama. And sometimes you have to move out of your town. It seems like these people have a lot of issues in that area where they live. They have a lot of issues in Carroll City, and they're saying that she's tricked daddy's sister, and maybe that's part of it. Maybe it's jealousy, maybe it's drama, maybe some stuff that Trick Daddy was involved in. I don't know. But I think at this point in time, it might be best for her and her daughter and her girlfriend to move to a whole nother city and start fresh. Because, like I said, I didn't realize this was the same woman that had all that drama on social media last year. But the whole situation is just sad. So I want to give you all that update on this video. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation now that you know more details. And then why do you feel like um, Lada LaFrance is sitting here saying one thing on Facebook, but then when she meets with the news media, she's saying a whole nother thing. I feel like it would have been more beneficial for her to say that the girl is 19 on the news as opposed to saying 17. So I have a feeling that maybe she's saying that on Facebook for her friends to justify her, you know, going at the girl. But she knows the news media has the real reports and they probably have the real girl's age. And that's that's why she has to admit that the girl is only 17. So this story is just ratchet, honey, but I'm gonna keep up with it and figure out what happens next. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation, honey. Once again, coming from our first favorite state, ratchet ass Florida. All right, do so. Hey you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.